This is all about the Presidential Records Act. I'm allowed to have these documents. I'm allowed to take these documents, classified or not classified. I love that Donald Trump seems to think that his opinion is more important than the written law of the land that for some reason he has worked out that the Presidential Records Act is his kind of of get-out-of-jail card, and the fact that no one's talking about it, and the fact that he knows about it, is the reason why he should be free, and this is a sham indictment, and he has nothing to do with it because he's allowed to take the documents. I mean, A, think about the arrogance of the man. Think about the stupidity, childishness, and immaturity of a guy who thinks that the entire Justice Department and legal system, including legal scholars, as well as really very respected prosecutors, in the case of Jack Smith, a special prosecutor who's previously worked in The Hague, that he hasn't read the law right and that Donald Trump is right? I mean, just think about the mindset of a person that thinks that they can say this stuff out loud and think that people are going to believe it. Frankly, when I have them, they become unclassified. Oh, and frankly, when he has them, they become unclassified, which I I don't think is the word he was looking for. But ultimately, he believes that being the president of the United States gives him carte blanche to declassify anything he looks at or touches. I mean, also, he doesn't seem to even mention the, the, the seriousness of the crime. You know, these documents, there were, there were thousands of them. It wasn't just a couple of documents. There were thousands of documents, and they were purported towards a potential attack on Iran. It's not a plan, but something that they were thinking about is a contingency. This is very, very serious. And yet Donald Trump doesn't even seem to care about national security or national secrets. Would you trust him with the presidency again? I mean, it is amazing that considering his, his distaste and lack of respect for the protocols involved in keeping our nation safe, the guy just only cares about what he said and what they said and what he thinks, and he's the one who knows because he's the former president. Or oh, actually, sorry, my mistake, he thinks he is the president. And maybe that's the crux of this. You know, maybe he thinks that he did win the election and he is the president and Joe Biden's an illegitimate president. And that's why the Presidential Records Act still stands. And maybe, just maybe, that's going to form part of his defense, that he is the president and therefore the Presidential Records Act is in his favor. When I have them, they become unclassified. People think you have to go through a ritual. You don't. At at least in my opinion, you don't. And why does he think that a lack of a ritual, a declassification ritual, is, you know, not something that forms part of the process? Because he says, you know, at least not in my opinion. He thinks that in his opinion, he doesn't have to go through a ritual, which I presume to declassify something, you would have to have, I don't know, a meeting of at least more than one person to sign it off and say, okay, this is declassified and for it to be put in a special box or something. He just feels that just by like waving his tiny hands around, that is enough for declassification. Again, I go back to this point that he is so deluded, he is so deranged, that he thinks that he is still the president. And that is going to be his argument. That is the reason why he thinks that the Presidential Records Act, that no one else has mentioned, because he's not the president, still applies. It's because he is convinced that he is. And, And that is not an argument. And again, it just goes to prove that this guy is living in an alternative reality. You know, Trump's world is not our world. It is not the real world. And, and for how long can a guy be allowed to roam around the United States claiming to be the president and claiming that the election was rigged and, and claiming that his impeachments against him for legitimate legal issues, major security events in the United States, like trying to overturn the election, plotting a coup against his own country, stealing classified documents. How do you claim that any of those serious crimes possibly the most significant crimes in American political and legal history are just a sham or a hoax or fake. It it, it is so offensive to anybody who takes the law of the land seriously. But Donald Trump has spent his entire life being in charge. You know, he he does not follow the law. 
He is a typical wealthy white supremacist who believes that it's his way or the highway. He can fire anybody. He can criticize anybody. He can try and sue Tanya Chutkin or try and get her taken off the case because he's Donald Trump. Just think about that. This hasn't just been going on since he won the presidency in 2016. This has been going on his entire life. And, and this is why he should never have been given the presidency, never been allowed near the presidency. And look what's happened to the United States since he held that office. How now we don't know which way is up. And all of the legal people that are saying, oh, well, you see, he won't be able to do that because, you know, there's no precedent for that and he won't be able to do this and, he, you know, he's going to get caught out in a legal thing. He doesn't care about any of that. You know, he is directing his lawyers and they're going to do what he says. And any advice they have for him, he will not take. He will run roughshod over the American justice system. He will slip through the fingers of the law simply because he doesn't care. And he doesn't care if he burns the whole institution down. That is his plan. And that is what he's going to see through. And if you think that at some point he's going to be like, OK, the game is up, that ain't going to happen. This man is going to burn down the criminal justice system. He is going to rubbish it. He's going to criticize it. And in the process, the people that support him and the people that think that he's smart are going to be like, yeah, I mean, what do I care for the justice system? Do you see what I mean? The, the, the damage it does to the institution in the process. It's not just about what happens to Trump. It's about what happens to every other defendant that goes through the legal system after Trump has rubbished the system. You know, we have to be very careful to protect our institutions and to have someone who has held high office speaking in this explicit way is damaging, not to our present, but to our future. But it's even beyond that because the Presidential Records Act allows you to do as president, only as president. Now, the other people that we talk about, including Biden, he wasn't president. And then finally, let's look at the fact that Trump completely blows up his own case here by admitting to having classified documents. I mean, that's the other crazy thing about this interview with Megyn Kelly, is that he forgets what he said previously. Oh, I didn't have anything. You know, I gave it all back. Now he's like, well, they're mine anyway. You know, they're mine to keep. I, I, I unclassified them. This is the problem with Donald Trump. He cannot keep tabs on his own lies. So he's basically admitted the crime on television. Congratulations. What were you waving around in that meeting? Because it certainly sounds like I'm not like going to talk to you about problem. that because uh, that's already been, I think, very substantiated and there's no problem with it. It hasn't been substantiated. Jack Smith says Megan, it was the Megan, let me just tell you. Let me and you tell told you. Brett Barrett. Let me paper. tell you. Here we go again. I'm covered by the Presidential Records Act. I'm allowed to do what I want to do. I'm Anthony Davis. You can hear me every day on the 5-Minute News podcast, on Wednesdays co-hosting Uncovered, and on Sunday on The Weekend Show with Midas Touch.